We're going to take the bulb out of this Bell & Howell projector. Putting it back together is the opposite of taking it apart. I'm not going to do a complete put back together because this bulb is bad. And I'm selling this camera as is. Really only two screws. Flat head right here. And another one right here. So the first part that comes off is this top house, penthouse. I'm going to set that off to the side. Then this little O-ring. Next thing to take off is this. Uh, it's a heat shield for the bulb. You can see the bulb in there. So to get that off, you unscrew this focus light focus thing or whatever all the way let me set that aside then you pull this out some kind of lens set that aside now this should come right out so you see the lens goes into there when you put it back together not sure what this does and then this goes into there when you put it back together next use the adjust the tilt tilt it all the way forward on the bottom there's a knob Uns hold the bulb unscrew that knob I've already unscrewed it so it's, it was loose it's got the terminal, a little bit of corrosion on the terminal. I'm going to sand that down so there's a nice connection. Then the bulb comes out the bottom. So there's your bulb. You see down there on the right hand side there's a slot and that's where that little tab so when you put the new bulb in just make sure that tab goes through that slot so that the bulb is in the correct way so to put it we'll, we'll leave this bulb out so let's say we put the bulb in first thing we do is we tighten this bottom up Put the heat shield over the bulb. This lens goes in, tucks into the heat shield. I guess this is a focus that goes next. And that's into the heat shield. So that's secure. You see there's slots that line up with the holes. Put the O-ring down. Just a little tricky to line this up. while I line this up all right that was the trickiest part of this process was getting those two screws into the holes it took me about three minutes to get them both going and started the last time I took this apart it took 15 seconds so that I'm not I don't even have that one in right anyway so there we go So that's basically it. It's pretty easy to do. These are not complicated.